Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few of the packaging items I use in my reselling business. So I've wanted to make this video for so long now, um, but for whatever reason, every time I have the idea, I completely like sort of brush it to the side, I forget to write it down and then the video never gets done. But I really do want one of these videos on the channel. And also I've got another video that will be coming shortly on the tools that I use in my reselling business. So not specifically the packaging, but the, just the day-to-day -day tools that I use in the business as well. Um, so yeah, be sure to be looking out for that video when it does come around. So uh, with that being said, we'll get on with today's video. Hopefully it won't be too much of a long one today. Uh, I will do a little bit of rambling about the um, aspects of the different packaging I use and why I use it and stuff, just to give you a little bit more context on why I use certain things opposed to others and stuff. Um, but yeah, let's get on with it and let's uh, share with you the first item. Also, I just wanted to state these are in no order, so, you know, number one isn't necessarily better than whatever, like number eight or whatever, so, uh, yeah, you know, they're in no order, it's just a random list of items I use, really. So, first off, we've got these uh, Jiffy bags. Um, I, I think for a while I've been using these sealed air mail light ones. Um, I don't know whether they are a little bit more expensive or whether they're kind of similar price to other ones. I think these ones may be a little bit more expensive, but not necessarily overly expensive or anything. Um, you can get the Jiffy Bag uh, branded ones as well. Uh, they're quite good quality. I have had them on a couple of occasions, but th again, they're more expensive. Um, so yeah, either these ones or the Jiffy Bag ones, the actual Jiffy Bag branded ones are good. Some of them that I've had that are completely unbranded uh, don't do the job very well. So I would recommend either getting these sealed air ones or as I say the jiffy bag ones um but yeah I, I don't know some of the unbranded ones have been very very weak um you know the bubble in, the bubble wrap inside of them hasn't been very firm the uh, little stick sort of strip on here um hasn't been very firm when I've stuck it down so yeah I kind of stick to these ones these are size D slash one uh, D one which is like you know CD DVD that sort of stuff that sort of things you can put in here perfectly and these obviously will go large letter so yeah that's the uh, first item next is something that I use all the time which is a tape gun this is so much better uh, when wrapping parcels when uh, actually closing up parcels uh, than just not using it um, when I didn't use it ages and ages ago we're, we're talking now but when I didn't use it it did take a while to, to wrap up parcels, so it's just so easy. I mean, with this one, sometimes what happens is this tape just gets caught on there, but you can just sort of uh, flick it back up and then it should be all right. Um, but I also have had this one for a very long time as well, so as you can probably see, I don't know how well you're going to see that, but it's pretty, you know, it's pretty messed up here. Um, I have had it for quite a while. Now, this is a metal one. I think it's uh, the brand is like Plaque Puss or something. Something like that, anyway. Um, I got it off Amazon for about 15 quid. Um, the cheaper ones that you can get that are plastic, I've never had, uh, you know, any joy using them. They're not very nice to use. They're very flimsy. I just personally can't seem to use them very well. Uh, whereas one of these ones, nice, robust one, lasts a very long time. Yes, okay, you might be paying eight to ten quid extra to get one of these for 15 pound opposed to the plastic ones that you can probably pick up in supermarkets as low as four or five pound online you might be looking six or seven pound um but yeah just go for the higher end one spend that extra eight to ten quid and uh, you can't go wrong with these obviously perfect for, for packing parcels and and getting things done nice and quickly and efficiently as well so yeah tape gun one of those items that really you just want to pay up slightly just for a better one uh, just because it'll last longer and it'll be a lot easier and more efficient to use so yeah tape gun is my number two item so number three uh, something I actually don't pay for so the first two items I, I actually buy myself and pay for them uh, this I these items I do not pay for these are uh, just boxes obviously you see here this is a dental one I get these from quality save mainly here in the UK it's a sort of a brand of supermarket um, also you know Sainsbury's and things like that and um, I've not really been to Lidl and Aldi but I guess you could probably get some decent boxes from there as well um, but anywhere that's going through a lot of stock you know food items and stuff like that um, you can generally find a lot of uh, unwanted boxes around um, and yeah you know 
if you can get them for free that's brilliant and obviously you can use these to package your items you can get them in any sizes you just need to go it's just with boxes about trying to hunt for the right ones now of course you can buy boxes if you would prefer if you don't like using second hand ones or you know maybe you've got a little bit of extra cash lying around but you can buy them and you want that added security of maybe a doubled wall box or anything like that however you can also get double wall boxes for free sometimes again you just have to hunt in the right places um, but yeah, so uh, boxes are a great one and obviously you will need them to pack uh, your items once they sell um, So yeah, I would generally just spend that extra little bit of time going around the supermarkets and hunting for these to get them for free um, However, I know some people do kind of have this uh, uh, sort of divide between time and money whether it's actually worth hunting for boxes or whether it's just worth just buying them generally um, But yeah, I, I generally don't pay for boxes The only box I do pay for are Amazon boxes if I'm sending shipments up to Amazon at, at any time um, I will buy doubled walled cardboard boxes for them just because they're nice and uniform and uh, They're easier to deal with when I'm doing my Amazon shipments, but yeah Boxes is my number three. So my number four is this black palette wrap, this uh, black cling film here. And basically what I just, just do is wrap items in this. For example, if I have, um, you know, a board game that's got a really um, sort of rigid box, what I'll do is I'll wrap it in big bubble wrap because I generally only use big bubble wrap now. I might use small bubble wrap for a few items. But I'll wrap it in big bubble wrap and then I'll give it a good wrap in this stuff and then obviously seal the ends up with tape. And uh, yeah, it just gives it a little bit of added protection i think this is waterproof as well i think well i say waterproof i think it's kind of waterproof it's not like it's not foolproof waterproof kind of thing it's just slightly waterproof so um yeah so i do that that's what i use that for so if anything like i get in i don't need a box for or it's already in a box and i don't need to put it in another box to ship it then i'll just wrap the bubble wrap around it and then use this to just give it a nice finish and a nice look to it because you don't want to be sending something out just wrapped in bubble wrap you need some sort of uh, finish to it, you know, and some people use like brown paper and stuff like that However, I don't use brown paper because I'll be honest with you. I screw it up I absolutely I, I'm not good at wrapping with brown paper or, or or even like wrapping paper at Christmas and stuff I screw it up whereas this stuff it's harder to screw it up So um, yeah, I just use this this stuff and it's quite sticky as well So it just goes around quite nicely. So yeah, that's why I use that for Oh, also, I didn't say, you can get this on Amazon and eBay. The cheapest is on eBay. You can get it for about £19 for six rolls. And these are 200 meter rolls. This one's probably a lot less than 200 meters now because I've used it. But, uh, you know, these are 200 meter rolls. Uh, six of them for 19 quid. That should last you a long time because that lasts me ages. That, that lasts me like five six months or something and i do wrap quite a lot of parcels but i don't generally use this all the time on every parcel so it does last me quite a while when i buy a, a lot of this even just for 19 quid so yeah that's where you can get that from oh also i didn't mention as well all the links will be down below and if if there isn't links like yeah you know, like with boxes i might not provide a link down below because generally you can just get them for free but if i don't provide a link i will just put a little sentence in there of where i sort of get them or source them from so yeah any links will be down below if you want to purchase any of this stuff i will put uh, the items in there that i use so for example if there's things on ebay that i use i'll put those links in there and then if there's things on amazon that i use i'll put those links in there etc so pretty much all the links down below should be to the stuff that i specifically use and that i've kind of swapped in and out of over the years because i've kind of had bad experiences with one product and changed over etc so um you know most of the stuff i use is pretty on point now at one point a year or two ago i was still kind of trying out packaging and seeing which works best and stuff um but these days um i do use pretty good quality stuff so i'm pretty happy with the uh, the suppliers that i use for packaging these days but yeah anyway that's that one so next as i mentioned i use big bubble wrap these days i generally do not use small bubble wrap um i have a supplier of this who is brilliant um i don't know them personally or anything I, I kind of i'm talking like i do know them personally i don't but um the supplier on ebay that i use that about a buy through absolutely brilliant quality this stuff um it's also very very easy to tear i think they call it easy tear or something easy terrible i'm not sure but i don't know whether this actually is easy terrible but i can tell you it is very easy to tear um 
So yeah, I mean, you can see I've torn it there. You know, I, I don't use scissors or knives for, for doing this stuff. I literally just tear it. Um, so yeah, this is really good. You probably can't make it out, but the bubbles are really quite strong. They're quite firm. And you don't need as much with this bubble wrap. With big bubble wrap, you don't need to wrap around about 20 times. You only need to, you know, as with smaller bubble wrap, sometimes you do to protect an item. But with this, you only need like one or twice round and it's good. It's fine. It's well protected. Um, so yeah, that's why I changed over to that you can get three big rolls of a hundred meter rolls so 300 meters in total for 36 pound which believe me is a decent price because i've looked around for it uh, from it for it on amazon and on ebay and everywhere and for the quality that you get in uh, for three big rolls of 100 meters 12 pound a roll yeah i say no more it's absolutely brilliant um it lasts me about Anywhere between two weeks to a month for free, the free rolls. Sometimes if I'm having a busy period, it might only last me literally like two two weeks. If I mean, I've, I'm selling like 10 a day or something like that, and they all need a lot of bubble wrap, because bear in mind, I do, uh, I do use a lot of it because of ceramics and etc. So if I'm selling a lot a day in Q4, it might only last me two, two and a half weeks. If I'm selling not that much, uh, you know, middle of the year, it might last me four maybe five weeks something like that um so yeah i do get through quite a lot of it but i absolutely love it i did have a bit of an issue with uh, one of the uh one of the bubble wrap rolls going going missing in transit but they did resolve that for me and they did actually send out another um what stack of bubble wrap you may have seen on instagram quite a while ago now um that i showed that in my stories um so yeah i still do buy from that company because they did treat me okay in the end and to be honest the product is so good that i was it, you know if they didn't treat me right and didn't get that bubble wrap to me in the end I would have still considered buying through them because I really just their their quality, the quality of their product is super, so superior to a lot of the stuff that I've seen and a lot of the stuff that I've had um, with bubble wrap in the past. So yeah, I really do rate that. I will leave a link down below to that um, product page if it obviously if it's still going. Hopefully it will be. Um, and yeah, uh, just go over there, check it out. Don't necessarily need to buy it on my recommendation, but at least go and check out the, the listing because it is a really, I do really do rate it. So yeah, that's that one anyway. So next, something I use very infrequently these days actually, and these are poly mailers. These are just the eBay branded ones that I got free from my £10 packaging voucher for having a featured store. Uh, now obviously you can get these in any shapes or sizes, you know, any big sizes or whatever if you need to wrap up something big. Uh, generally, these are perfect for clothing. Um, some of the bigger poly bags do are pretty good for like plush toys and stuff like that also i sometimes sell hats as well uh, now like the flat caps and stuff i will put in the polys trilbies and stuff i'll generally put in boxes because i don't want them you know crushed down but the flat caps and stuff generally i'll put in a couple of these and i normally what i do is i normally put them in one and then put them in another one just to give them an added layer of protection um but yeah these poly bags brilliant for clothing it's literally a, a strip uh, there that you just pull and then stick over so very very easy um, and yeah, just nice items really generally. Um, again, I would suggest that you maybe put them in two uh, because some of these, I mean, the, these eBay ones are actually half decent quality to be honest, but some of them that you get, if you're gonna, gonna go on the cheaper side, uh, they're not as good quality, so really you may want to wrap them in two of them. And if you are getting them for cheaper anyway, it might be uh, sort of cost effective to do that anyway. So yeah. Um, so poly bags, that's that one. As I say, I don't use them that frequently because I don't do that much clothing or anything. But there are a few bits and bobs I do use them for. So I still keep a small supply of these in. But I don't keep like loads of different sizes or anything like some people will. But yeah, um, that those ones. I don't really have a link for these because... And I don't really want to give a link for these down below because I don't really have a consistent supplier for these just kind of buy from whoever but if you just type in on ebay and amazon just poly mailers or uh, poly bags or something you'll be able to find them you know you should be able to find them easy and just have a browse and a research of different ones but yeah that's those ones so you just saw this or you saw another one on my uh, tape gun so this is just brown tape i generally just get any again this is just one that i kind of just go off any listing sometimes i get the cheaper stuff which sometimes is a little bit less sticky and then sometimes i get slightly more expensive stuff but again there's loads of different listings on ebay for this you have got to be careful because i did get like 36 rolls of this and it's okay uh this one um 
again, something that I don't really want to leave a link for because this one's it is okay, it'll do the job, but sometimes it just comes off a little bit, you know? Not like major comes off, like it just completely folds back, but sometimes this stuff isn't as strong. There is a listing on eBay though, and I am going to try and find it because I used to buy off this listing that was really, really good, really, really strong. And if I find that listing, I'll put that link below because I really do want to find that listing again uh, to try and buy off that listing because that listing was awesome uh, and the strength of it was brilliant. But then I, I lost the listing and I couldn't find it and I've ended up having to buy this stuff uh, for the last few months. And as I say, it's okay, but occasionally it will just come off. It'll fold off slightly on the boxes, which isn't the best, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try and see if I can find a better listing listing for that and uh, I will put a link down below but it may be worth you just doing your own due diligence on these and having a look around at different listings and stuff and maybe a few reviews just to see with tape because tape is probably one of those probably the thing that is the most annoying to get because if you get a bad batch of tape it can really be annoying like it's not good to use on the tape gun it's not good to stick down um you know it just generally isn't nice to use however if you get a really good batch it's the best thing in the world so um yeah it's one of those things you have got to look into a little bit more but obviously tape i use for Loads of different things, as you would expect. Packaging up parcels, you know, closing them up, uh, sealing them up and stuff. Wrapping things in bubble wrap and putting the tape on them. All that sort of stuff is brilliant. It's a necessity, really. You need it if you're going to be reselling. So, yeah, that's that one. Um, and then I've got this newspaper. Now, this obviously just represents dunnage or void fill, whatever you want to call it, which is just anything that maybe you can get for free. Newspaper, maybe you can get... Um, I don't know, maybe you can get tissue paper from somewhere for free, I don't know, maybe maybe you can ask your family to save certain bits of, uh, you know, this sort of stuff, like newspaper and stuff, magazines, things like that would be okay, um, and this is just basically things you get for free, but you can plug in the holes of boxes, and just sort of fill them up without actually spending any money on, like, if you, for example, if you were to fill a box all with bubble wrap, which sometimes I do do, if it is a, you know, expensive item and stuff, I like to use bubble wrap, opposed to just any old dunnage because I know that it's more protected as I say especially if it's an exp expensive item um, but you know if you've got like a cheaper item then you don't want to be using loads and loads of bubble wrap in that box you want to be trying to get you know trying to get some vo uh, void fill and newspaper and stuff for free so then you're plugging in those holes and it's not actually costing you any money in terms of bubble wrap so uh, generally just try and find newspaper and, and the like and uh, obviously use that in your boxes as dunnage or void fill just to fill up that that box nicely nice and tight uh, so then nothing moves around and again you're not wasting any more money by filling it up with things that you paid for so uh, yeah I just wanted to highlight that one as well and then there's one other thing that I nearly forgot as well uh, just before I recorded this video and um, so I will show you that right now so the last one that I nearly forgot but I was actually packaging up before this video and I thought Oh my god, how did I even leave that out? So obviously this is a Stanley knife here. Um, it's a nice one. I change the blade on it every now and then. Like, I should change it more than I do. I change it like every... Because I forget, I change it like every four or five months really. But, um, you know, I should be changing it once every couple of months because it does get blunt. Um, but yeah, you can buy the blades for these. I think you can get these on eBay, which is kind of odd because, you know, you can't sell certain knives on eBay but then you can get like these or you can get at least the blades for them. I'm pretty sure I did buy this off eBay. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I did. So it is quite odd that. Um, but yeah, so um, I know I think it's the... I might have bought the, I think I might have been able to buy the blades for these off eBay, but not the knife itself or something like that. But that's still a bit weird, isn't it? But you can buy the blades, but not, not the knife if that was the case. But uh, yeah, so it's really nice. It just sort of springs back and then you can just use it, uh, you know, cutting along boxes, cutting along bubble wrap, cutting along whatever you want. Um, and I use this every day. Uh, I love it. It's a great knife, this one. It is, uh, you know, an official branded Stanley one. Uh, you can get any of these, you know, I would splash, well, I say splash out they're not that expensive anyway but i would kind of pay up a little bit just to get a better quality one because it will last you a while this one's lasted me two three years now a long time you know it's it's been it's been there with me for a long time and, it, and it's fine still and obviously because you can change the blades out um as long as this sort of 
handle here is okay and, and not messing up, then it's going to last quite a while. Um, so yeah, I would say a knife is, is another must. Now again, if you're maybe younger or whatever, be careful with these knives. Um, I'm guessing that not many people younger who uh, are going to be necessarily selling on eBay or anything, so the majority of people watching me will be adults, but even if you're an adult, just be careful with these because they can be uh, lethal if, uh, you know, if you're not looking what you're doing properly. So luckily I haven't um, got caught out and, and nothing bad's happened with it, but um, yeah, you've got to be careful with these when you're using these knives. But yeah, wanted to mention that one as well. So that is everything. I think, I think I'm at a bit of an odd number. I think I've only got nine there opposed to ten. I would have liked to get to ten items, but... Uh, still, that's okay. We'll finish on nine. There's probably something I've missed out, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like down below. What do you guys use in packaging? Do you guys use different stuff to I that I use? Um, if you're a new reseller, um, you know, how, are you building up your packaging supplies? And will you take any of the recommendations or any of the things you've seen here and sort of incorporate them into your reselling business? Uh, let me know down below. And uh, with that being said, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Uh, oh, don't forget the links will be down below as well to the majority of the items you'll have seen. And uh, yeah, I will leave it there. So I will see you in the next one, guys. So see you very soon.